these are, of course, the areas you're used to seeing, the dining room out here, the front counter where you put in your order, and then, of course, the kitchen where they cook your food. But you won't believe what happens to this burger before it ever makes it to your mouth. Call this the birthplace of your burger. Inside Lopez Foods on the outskirts of Oklahoma City, this meat processing plant is a major player in the McWorld. We do about uh, 500,000 pounds of 100% uh, beef patties for McDonald's per day. Along with 200,000 pounds of sizzling sausage, cooked first, then frozen. Here, 500 workers split two shifts. The only time these machines grind to a halt we have a cleaning crew that comes in and cleans every night, and then the USDA inspector comes in and inspects the, the, the plant uh, on a daily basis. But during the day, Lopez performs its own quality checks, 100 per hour. From the foot bath at the front door to metal detectors, which automatically spit out suspicious patties, even hourly taste tests. And after your third chew, you're analyzing whether it's juicy enough, whether the, the beef is, is, is too tough or, or too tender. If they pass, the patties are packed, delivered to a distribution center, and sent to McDonald's all over the Southwest, like one of Jose Santiago's 17 metro restaurants. When we go to our customers and we give them a hamburger, we know that they're going to get the best there is, without a doubt. And it's not just burgers McDonald's buys from Oklahoma companies, but biscuits. Two million every day from Bama Foods. The Tulsa company also bakes every pie sold at McDonald's nationwide. All combined, it's quite an impact on our state's economy. Just purchasing a sausage patty at McDonald's is helping some farmer raise his family and pay his bills. McDonald's expects, and we want to make, every single hamburger as perfect as we can. McDonald's actually gave us complete access to both its restaurant and the meat processing plant. But because of safety and security concerns, our cameras were only allowed to film in certain areas. Reporting from Oklahoma City, Kevin Sims, Eyewitness News 5.